I am Dr. Vishwanath, Consultant Nephrologist and HOD Nephrology. I am working at Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. Number one risk factor in our country is diabetes. Again, because India has maximum diabetics, Asia in fact has more diabetics compared to other European countries or Western countries. So diabetes is number one risk. Most often in our country, uh, the concept of health check, concept of uh, regular screening is not available. So by the time you detect you have diabetes, people may have kidney involvement, people may have eye involvement due to diabetes. Diabetes is the number one risk factor for kidney dysfunction or chronic kidney disease. Next comes hypertension, which is again poorly controlled. If you have hypertension, if it is well controlled, 99% of the times it doesn't affect kidney at all. If BP is there and if you don't control blood pressure well, uncontrolled hypertension is a very high risk factor for leading to chronic kidney disease. Apart from diabetes and hypertension, the next important risk are, suppose in your family somebody has renal failure or somebody has died of renal failure or somebody needed dialysis, that's again a risk factor, what we call as family history of renal dysfunction. Anybody has recurrent urinary infection, recurrent pyelonephritis, recurrent kidney infection, that is again a risk factor for chronic kidney disease. And in our country again, unprescribed medications or over-the-counter medications like painkillers, native drugs, which has been taken for a very long time unsupervised, can also lead to kidney dysfunction. Apart from these, you also look. You should also look at what we call as glomerular disease, where you find protein in the urine. Glomerular diseases are important because if you find out early and detect them, whatever needed investigation after doing the investigation, then definitely it can be prevented or sometimes we can make it normal. So though you have protein, you may be classified under chronic kidney disease, if it is detected early, treated appropriately, definitely further progression can be prevented. To some extent, we can prevent complete or halt complete damage of the kidney.